We lost three officers in the line of duty this past week, as well as one canine. In all, we've had 19 line of duty deaths this year, with gunfire, auto crash, struck by a vehicle being the leading causes. Georgia still leads the way with the most line of duty deaths with four, twice as many as the next closest state, and one fewer than the five they reported in all of 2023, with the average age being 41, an average tour of duty at 10 years and three months. The three we lost this week were police officer Paul Elmstrand and police officer Matthew Rouge of the Burnsville Police Department in Minnesota, end of watch, Sunday, February 18th of 2024. Police officer Paul Elmstrand and police officer Matthew Rouge were shot and killed after responding to a domestic incident in the 12,600 block of 33rd Avenue at about 2 a.m. A man had taken several family members hostage, including seven children, and barricaded himself inside of the home. As officers and rescue personnel arrived at the scene, the man opened fire on them, fatally wounding Officer Elmstrand, Officer Rouge, and Burnsville firefighter paramedic Adam Finseth. A Burnsville Police Department sergeant was also wounded. The man committed suicide and was found deceased in the home at about 8 a.m. The hostages were able to escape safely. Officer Elmstrand had served as a sworn officer with the Burnsville Police Department for five years and had previously served as a community service officer. He is survived by his wife and two young children. He was 27 years old. Officer Rouge had served with the Burnsville Police Department for four years. He was 27 years old. Trooper First Class Chase Redner of the Georgia State Patrol in Georgia. End of watch, Tuesday, February 20th of 2024. Trooper First Class Chase Redner was struck and killed while investigating a fatal pedestrian crash at Interstate 75 near North Mount Zion Boulevard in Morrow. At 10.30 p.m. on February 19th of 2024, a construction worker died after being struck by a vehicle while setting up a work zone. Trooper Redner was investigating the collision site and was standing outside his patrol cruiser at 12.30 a.m. when he was hit by a passing vehicle. He was transported to Grady Memorial Hospital where he died from his injuries. Trooper Redner had served with the Georgia State Patrol for over six years. He is survived by his mother and fiance. He was 31 years old. We also lost our second canine of the year. Both canines have died due to gunfire. Canine Leo of the Marion County Sheriff's Office in Florida, end of watch, Tuesday, February 20th of 2024. Canine Leo succumbed to a gunshot wounds he received during a domestic call at the 900 block of Northwest 114th Court in Silver Springs on February 17th of 2024. When Marion County Sheriff's deputies arrived at the scene, the subject, accused of battery by strangulation, fired at them from the backyard. Canine Leo was struck in an area not covered by his protective armor. Deputies returned fire, killing the subject. Canine Leo was transported to the UF Animal Hospital in Gainesville, where he died three days later. Canine Leo had served with the Marion County Sheriff's Office for three years. He was six years old. Thank you for your service.